The epicenter of this earthquake was in Lamjung in Nepal. Aftershocks were felt twice subsequently and this was a long earthquake. Tremors were felt across parts of India. Let's show you pictures of eight parts of India. Delhi, Lucknow, Patna, Kanpur, Siliguri, Chandigarh, Kolkata and Varanasi. Shocks were felt in Delhi. It was five on the Richter scale in parts of Delhi. Several other parts of northern India felt the aftershocks. Eastern UP and Bihar saw the intensity of the earthquake. 6.6 .6 was the aftershock in Kathmandu in Nepal. North India was shaken by these massive tremors. And let's take you straight to West Bengal, where Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee has conducted an emergency meeting at the state secretariat. She's met disaster management team members. In fact, the minister, Javed Khan, senior department officials are present in this meeting to assess the situation across Bengal and especially North Bengal. The state has also informed the resident commissioner of Bengal in Delhi to collate as much information as possible about stranded tourists from Bengal in Nepal. Now the information that is coming in, there, ha there has been damage to buildings in Siliguri. Kolkata has been safe and these are pictures we are bringing to you of people who were rushed to hospital. They have sev severe damage to some buildings in Siliguri. But for the moment, I want to quickly go across to Mr. Manoj Sinha, who is the commandant of the NDRF team in Bihar. Sir, what can you tell us about the situation in Bihar and what your team plans to do? Mr. Sinha, can you hear me, sir? Uh, Vijay Sinha ji, you are listening to my voice. We'll just try and re-establish that line with uh, Mr. Sinha of the NDRF. But for the moment, I have Indrajit Kundu who joins me from Kolkata with the latest. Uh, Indrajit, what more can you tell us about Mamta Banerjee, this meeting that's that's happening? Well, a uh, high-level meeting is taking place at the State Secretariat, uh, basically to assess the situation across North Bengal. We are getting, uh, you know, information from various districts of North Bengal, Jalpaiguri, Darjeeling, to be uh, more precise. And as we have reported, there has been one death, uh, one confirmed death of a person uh, from Jalpa district. This person died when a wall collapsed on him. Uh, now we are also getting reports that around 20 people have been admitted in the North Bengal Medical College in, uh, in Siliguri uh, with various injuries. Now many were, uh, you know, panic-stricken uh, people who were trying to escape probably their houses, and uh, that's how they got injured. We are also getting reports from Malda now in North Bengal, uh, in which uh, there are two separate incidents, uh, one on the Kaliachak police station in a school, when a lot of students were trying to come out, panic-stricken students, uh, during the tremors, when uh, the staircase gave away, and that's how seven of these uh, students were injured. Similar incident took place in another school in, uh, in Malda. So around 40 uh, you know, students have been injured in Malda, as you can see in the visuals, and they have been uh, you know, rushed uh, to the Malda State General Hospital for treatment. So one person has died in Jalpaiguri district, around uh, 60 odd people who have been injured, uh, if you take both Darjeeling district uh, as well as Malda district into consideration. Stay with me for a moment. I also want to bring in Mr. Vijay Sinha of the NDRF who joins me on the phone line. Sir, what can you tell us about the extent of damage and the task ahead for you, of you? Actually, uh, just we see, uh, we have already dispatched our five teams from Patna and they have moved for five locations of the North Bihar district and uh, Gorakhpur. And further, we have kept our teams ready. Right. Now, Gorakhpur is where one team has gone and five other teams, four other teams are in North Bihar. How bad North is the Bihar. damage? Uh, uh, damage, the damage is the, uh, we have, we are yet to receive the damage, exact detail of damage, but we have already located our teams on those places as with the medical, medical squad and dogs, are, dogs have also been sent with them. How so, big is each team, sir? 
Sir, it is consistent. The teams consist 40 to 45 each. So almost, uh, uh, including my medical and other staff, almost 300 people have been dispatched from Patna. 300. 300 people have been dispatched from Patna. The information yeah, yeah. that you have got, Mr. Sinha, what does that information seem to indicate, sir? What does that information uh, say? Actually, we, we are keeping ourselves, ourselves alert also because we have just come to know through IMD that uh, there are chances that the tremor may come again. So, for that we have to be on alert also. And uh, the extent of damage I am yet to ascertain from the state government. But we have already dispatched our team. Right. And these are medical teams, there are doctors, uh, there are, there's a dog squad. If there are people are trapped in the debris, they will try to bring them out. Who else comprises your team, sir? Uh, uh, my, my team is dogs and even we, we are having the victim locating camera for the locating the victim, anyone trapped inside any debris. So right. we can uh, make a hole and locate person over there. Right. Mr. Vijay Sinha, we wish you all the best in your relief rescue effort. Five teams from NDRF Patna have already been dispatched and that is the use of technology that Mr. Vijay Sinha is talking to us about that there are these cameras that a, a, a hole can be drilled into the debris and that camera can be sent in so that you are not groping in the dark. You can try and figure out where people could be trapped and they could be rescued. The Home Ministry has now said that 114 people are feared dead in the earthquake in Nepal. Now, Delhi's Lieutenant Governor has also called a high-level meeting of all Joint Commissioners of Police. This meeting will take place at 5.30. Other senior officials will be present in this meeting. Uh, this is because cracks have appeared in some installations in Delhi and there is a damage assessment exercise that is being undertaken buildings have shown some cracks the people are out in the field so far we have no information of any major issue but what I've done is that at 530 I will leave this meeting early if it doesn't finish because at 530 I've called a meeting in my office uh, with uh, all the joint commissioners of police the home secretary of Delhi the municipal de municipal commissioners and the revenue deputy commissioners so that at night they can be alert because we just heard that there was a second tremor in in Nepal and now you know there is sometimes it happens that four hours five hours later there can be a repeat repetition so we'll be on alert in the evening and the rest we hope for the best uh, sir, uh, I have called this meeting myself uh, sir, yeah. uh, uh, what about the high-rise buildings and the concern regarding that no I can't answer you that question just now uh, sir, also uh, there is a point of confrontation over the farmer suicide. Uh, you obviously met Rajnath Singh along with the police commissioner. I am not commenting on that at all. Kamalji Kaur Sandhu now joins me with the latest on this story. A second tremor feared teams are out. What are these teams looking at? What kind of damage is feared, Kamal? Uh, well, I cannot hear you clearly, but definitely your question is going to be on the spare net. Uh, we know, uh, we've spoken to MS Khattar, we spoke about high-rise buildings. The LG, we know, is uh, taking a meeting at 5.30 in the evening. Uh, he's calling the Delhi Home Secretary as well as high senior officials from Delhi Police. Uh, we've also been told by him very clearly is what cracks have appeared in the second aftershock. Uh, this is going to be a huge cause of concern because there are a lot of the buildings which are on, on not only really old and damaged, but perhaps could be weak in structure. So all this is going to be taken into consideration. Uh, but yes, there is a meeting of uh, North Indian uh, uh, chief ministers here at Vigyan Bhavan and many of them are obviously talking about it. Uh, but definitely the focus being on the capital itself. We know the NDRF teams have been put on a stack. Uh, there are at okay. least uh, 10 teams which have been put on standby, I have to tell you. Uh, at least uh, four of them in Delhi uh, and four of them from Bhatinda who are going to be ready for uh, the flight to Nepal. But yes, as far as Delhi and other regions are concerned, we also know the Patna team has been made ready of the NDRF because there is an assessment that North Bihar could have faced severe damage. Okay, also tell us about teams that are being prepared uh, to be sent to Nepal. How many teams, what all equipment, what more information do you have on that, Kamal? Uh, well, what we've been told so far is from India resources that at least four teams from Delhi and four in Batinda and two in Patna have been kept on standby. 
Uh, they've also been kept on standby as far as equipment is concerned. Uh, this is the life-saving equipment. Uh, the tents are being readied, uh, water equipment, uh, other equipment uh, besides that. So this is something which will really help them. And this is even before uh, Nepal has reached out to India. India has made that particular offer. And remember, uh, they are at the Indian airport. They are on waiting for the instructions uh, to be flown at the first uh, sign of approval. Uh, but definitely, uh, NDRF has now faced in the past few years uh, many earthquakes. And remember, uh, just two days ago, on the 24th, uh, there was an earthquake in Sikkim measuring more than five on the Richter scale, another one in Andamans the same day. So yes, uh, there has been an earthquake alert, uh, but definitely the uh, IMD, uh, we also know that Cabinet Secretary has taken a meeting, a Home Secretary has taken a meeting, yes. and at 3 o'clock we know that the Prime Minister is chairing a high-level meeting, uh, so it's been taken at the highest of level, and obviously the preparedness is something which comes first to the mind. Okay, and breaking news coming in. This is just coming in as we speak. A C-130 Hercules and a C-17 Globemaster. The largest heavyweight aircraft is, is now cleared to fly to Kathmandu. And this aircraft will take off uh, shortly with emergency relief, rescue and rehabilitation equipment and NDRF teams. This is the information that is just coming in. A C-17 Globemaster which did an outstanding job in rescuing Indians and others who were trapped in Yemen, bringing them back from Djibouti to India. That C-17 Globemaster and a short takeoff and landing strategic uh, uh, transport aircraft C-130 Hercules on its way, shortly to be on its way to Kathmandu. They've been cleared to fly. Ten NDRF teams are to be dispatched to Nepal anytime. IAF planes have now been cleared to fly. And this is indeed going to be good news because these are huge aircraft that can carry a lot of material which is desperately required at this point of time to clear the debris, to get emergency teams as quickly as possible. And headlines today's Jugal Purohit now joins me with this breaking news story. Jugal, did, tell us more. Well, Gaurav, uh, ever since this earthquake took place, the Transport Operations Directorate of the Indian Air Force is the one which operates all the transport uh, planes which will carry men, relief and, uh, you know, rescue uh, equipment. That has been uh, doing the entire planning and I'm given to understand that the planning was already done a couple of hours ago, but the political call uh, of the Indian government to go in uh, to Kathmandu and help Nepal out has been taken according to my information. So C-17 Groupmaster as well as a C-130J Hercules plane have been readied at Hindon. Apart from that, uh, several other bases uh, close to the Nepalese border have also been activated and I'm given to understand that helicopters uh, are also going to be loaded with men and relief and rescue supplies uh, which will fly in. So right now, India is obviously on the cusp of launching a huge effort because Nepal, uh, because Nepal has, been, uh, has, has been subjected and ravaged by this earthquake. So the government of India has decided on the request of, Nepal, of the Nepalese authority to mount this effort. And as, I, as we've just put it out for our viewers, these planes have been cleared to fly and they will be taking off in the next couple of hours depending on the flight plan. These are specific modalities that are being still worked out. But the green signal has come. A C-17 Globemaster, possibly the second largest plane in aviation history and the largest that the Indian Air Force has, yes. will be going in with NDRF and other relief and rescue supplies. So will be the...